Let's take this Mother's Day sculpture off Thingiverse and turn it into something cool and unique to give to Mom for Mother's Day. Let's get started. Alright, after downloading the Thingiverse file, we're going to throw it onto our 3D printer and print it out, as you can see, in time lapse. And here's what it looks like. Next, I'll cut out some styrofoam sprues. One large one for the top of the mold to pour the molten brass in, and a smaller one on the bottom that will allow the air to escape when I pour, pour in the molten brass. I'll attach these with some hot glue that will melt away along with a 3D printed model. Here I'm just taking an ordinary box and taping it to work my work surface. I'll then put my 3D printed uh, model and sprues in the box and fill it with a 50-50 mix of plaster of Paris and silica sand. I actually did try to film me pouring that in there and unfortunately it didn't record. And the reason it's unfortunate is because it was hilarious. The tape actually sprung up and plaster started spilling everywhere. In the end, I got it. Now that we got our forge started, we can go ahead and start melting our brass, which is actually made from bullet casings, if that makes it any cooler. I don't think it does, but everyone else titles their brass casting videos made from bullet casings like it's something special. It's just brass. Keep in mind that I already burnt out and melted out all the PLA, the styrofoam, and the glue out of the mold. This is important because, as you'll see at the end of the video, I put a clip of what happens when you pour molten metal into a mold that hasn't had any, everything burned out. It turns into a fiery volcano. While it looks really cool, it splashes liquid hot metal everywhere. Alright, here it is guys, after I got it out of the, the mold. Didn't turn out too big. Now we just need, or too bad for that matter. Uh, now we just gotta clean it up, cut off all the sprues and stuff like that, and shine it up, and get it all buffed up and nice and shiny. And we'll take a look. This is actually normal speed. I just had uh, like 40 cups of coffee that morning, so I, you know, I was really in the zone. Alright guys, here it is after some sanding and polishing. And, you know, if I had a belt sander, I'd definitely sand this some more to get some more of this casting and the 3D printing layer marks out. But all together, it came out pretty cool, nice and shiny. Uh, probably engraved down here like mom of the year kind of like a little mini oscar uh, for all those moms out there thank you for what you do and thanks for watching if you like this video hit like and subscribe to see what comes next